Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're gonna to do problem number 18 on Project Euler, so that's the maximum sum path one. Problem says, as by starting at the top of the triangle below and moving to adjacent numbers on the row below, the maximum total from top to bottom is 23, and that is taken by the path three, seven, four, nine, and the sum of those numbers is 23. Find the maximum total from top to bottom of the triangle below. And it says, note, as there are only 16,384 roots, it is possible to solve the problem by trying every root. However, a future problem is the same challenge with a triangle containing 100 rows, and it cannot be solved by brute force. It requires a clever method. All right, so today we're gonna, we're gonna use that clever method. We're not gonna solve it by brute force because that's basically cheating. So what I've already done here is just copy and pasted this in here, okay? And it's in this format, and this format currently is unusable. So before we get into the algorithm, let's just get this into a, into a better form. So instead of just a one-dimensional array of strings, I need to make this a two-dimensional array of integers. So first, I'm gonna say paths equals row.split for row in paths. So now paths will become now paths will become a two-dimensional array, but each entry will be a string, not an integer. So what I could do here is say paths equals, okay, so we wanna go for a row in paths, and what we wanna do for each row in, the, in, in paths is make int i for i in row. Okay, so let's just see if that's working. Print paths, so, um, Perfect, so yeah, uh, 75, we just, just 75, 94, 64, these are all the correct numbers, but they're all as integers and not, they're all integers and not strings anymore. Okay, so now we have, um, now we have something we can work with. And now let's, uh, let's come up with that clever solution, all right? So in a very simple case, imagine if we had this was as our triangle, six, seven, and four, okay? So all you need to do is find the maximum of the bottom row, so that's seven, and then that's the answer. You just gotta add seven to six. You know that this is gonna, you know that taking seven is gonna be the maximum path because it's the maximum number, right? That's the, the basic case. But what if we made this a little more complicated and added a, a, added a dimension? So five, seven, I'm just doing this randomly, let's say one, okay? So we would actually start at the bottom and figure out, just like in the last example, for all of the basic cases. So this triangle here, six, seven, four, and for this triangle here, seven, four, one. Uh, for six, seven, four, the maximum is seven. So the maximum, the maximum sum for this section of the triangle would be seven plus six, which is 13. So I'm actually gonna erase six and write 13, okay? And then we have this triangle, seven, four, one. The maximum path would be seven plus four, which is 11. So we can erase the seven and put 11. And then at this point, this row doesn't matter anymore. Um, now we have this, you know, a basic triangle, just like our first base case, and we just have to evaluate the maximum number of this row. So that's 13 and 11, 13, which means that our maximum path, our maximum sum for that triangle would be 5 plus 13, which is 18, and that would be our answer. Okay. So to implement that, what we need to do is iterate through this paths from the bottom to the top. So for i in range len of paths minus one, because we want to start at the very last row, we'll go to zero and minus one each time. Okay, so that'll, that's our row, and then for j in range, um, for j we want to iterate in order, so we want to go from here to there. But we actually don't want to go to the last one, because well, you'll see one in a second. So we're gonna go from zero to len of paths at i minus one, just to not include the last one. Okay, so now all we need to do is just update um, what we want to update, update the variable, update the entry above. So paths at i minus one j. So if you look at, if you look at how paths is made right now, you know, this would start, we would start at four and 62. So what I'm saying is I want to say this entry, paths at i minus one j, so 63, plus equals the maximum of this element and the element one next to it. And that's why we don't want to go to the end because we need to have space to add the next one. So paths plus equals paths at i at j, or no, the maximum of paths at i at j or paths at i j plus one, okay? So that'll do that. And then 
um, the answer will be paths at zero zero. Uh, got an error, uh, len of paths at i minus one. Oh, oh yeah. Whoops. This has got to be outside the brackets. Okay, 1,074. Yeah, and that way um, the time complexity is much better because we're not calculating every path. Cool, got it right. I'll see you in the next video.